Hi guys, I thought I'd show you how things are going on today in the bathroom. The wet room, I should say, sorry. Not the bathroom. Now, yesterday evening, after I'd nipped to um, Asda and grabbed a couple of things, quite literally, um, I came in purposely with my bigger chair that I take out, just in case, because I wanted to see. So, for example, um, I had my chair, this one that I'm sitting in now, um, gone to Able World, I had to have it, um, the wheels, dawn, service, whatever, and it had to be at the at Able World for two weeks, like last time. So I thought, what shall I do? Um, you know, road test with the chair that I've got, the other one. Go out now, I don't want you in here, cats. Um, yeah, I thought I'll road test it with... What the hell was going on then? It's bloody Cosmo trying to drag a, a bowl around. <laughs> I thought, what's going on? Yeah, so the um, yesterday I nipped into here with the chair that I use, and because the um, the back of the toilet, well, all this area was further out. Um, it hit pipes. And it was more, this toilet um, was moved over, more over, and for, more forward. That's where these bits are here. So the toilet was virtually here, in this area, right? Yeah, it was moved. So... Um, the guy last night, I messaged, he was in charge of these. And um, I said to him, I says, I don't know if this is going to really mess things up. And I, ha you know, I'm sorry, but um, I'm not able to turn around in my wet room area. It makes it really, really tight having the chair further forward. Because when I came in to have a look at it the other day, um, this was propped open with screwdrivers and the like. So... You know, I wasn't able to get a true idea of distance. So he says, oh, it's temporary, not to worry. Um, so anyway, he told the guy that came out today, his other mate, um, and he said, don't worry about it. Um, we'll have a look. And I came in with my chair and he took some measurements and he says, right, um, we're going to move it back. Um, he did some phoning round, no one was answering the phones, he sent messages, no one replied, so he was like, no one's responding, I'm just going to get on with it and do it. Um, so that's what he did, was he sorted out um, the pipe work that's behind, he cut it down, and he moved the toilet back. So, and, so it made it give me more space here, because it's not just the fact that the toilet's there, out. Um, you know, on the plan, it just is a square. But they don't show the corners, like for this cupboard area that's got my boiler in. Well, not boiler, the upper, you know, the on-off thing for the, um, for the shower. You know, so all this area eats into the turnaround space. And then there's also the fact that I have my seat in the in the in the cubicle area, so it's like ooh, you know. Um, so that's not thought of when the planning is done by the able-bodied people. Um, so anyway, he did it. The chap, very nice, was having a laugh because um, he had his radio on and his singing was really really flat and mon like just one literally like. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, it was just funny. And uh, he says, so what do you think of the singing then? Is it any good? And I, I was just like, mm, it's great. Um, yeah, it was funny. Um, so anyway, then, because this guy, I mean, he came here for what? About half past nine, ten o'clock. I think it was more like ten. And he, he literally um, was here till half past five. Um, the council guy who I was talking to the yesterday with, get out, 
come on um with the um uh who does the grant for this for the toilet and you know this area here and sorting out all the pipe work and stuff um he uh, he rang me just after five o'clock and he says uh he says to me, he says, uh, with the OT, I've got measurements of what the toilet should be like, what the dimensions are for what it's supposed to sit and, you know, and all the rest of it. And I was like thinking, yeah, but that's in a hypothetical sense. When you've got the chair, my chair in or my big chair in and you're turning around and gone, I've got potatoes and stuff. What? got potatoes on the boil right let's go back in here cat move i think the put the pan is done yeah yeah well i'm gonna turn it off Ooh, snoozy yeah so i thought i said to him i said yeah but when i went in there with my chair it was a different kind of dimension so anyway, um, he decided um, to sort of be a bit mardy, a little bit, you know. He was like, mm, um, this is what was discussed and this is the dimensions for the uh, for the toilet to sit at and everything. And, and I thought, oh, here we go. Are you trying to make out that I'm messing things up? You know, that I'm messing things up, I'm changing things. Because that's what she sort of implied, the OT. And I thought, but it's only when you've got the chair, your, you know, disability chairs in or your disability equipment and you're actually sat and you're using, the, you know, going in to use it um, and being practical that suddenly you realise that maybe that measurement is all out. So he was like, I says, oh, I says, I'll tell you what, I says, I'll pass you on to the, uh, <laughs> the builder that stood here. And he was like... Oh, at this time of evening, and I was like, yeah, he's here, he's still finishing off. So anyway, um, I passed him over, and he was like, ooh, ooh, and I thought, well, you can explain, I said, you can talk toilets to him and measurements and that. And he was like, um, told him what the measurements were and the reasoning why he needed to change it. And, uh, yeah, he was ever, you know, you know, he really did sort of say that um, it was necessary because of the cubicle and she's not going to be able to um, turn around in that space. She's going to bang into the toilet. Um, it's not practical, it's not functional and um, it's not taking into account the edge of the shower area. And it's like, oh. So anyway, left it at that. And, and then I ended up, after he finished talking, I ended up just putting, putting pressing the, the call end button. And I says to him, I said, shit, I've hung up on him. <laughs> and he says, oh, well, he says, uh, it's after half five now. Anyway, he says, I need to go. So uh, I was like, fair play. So anyway, um, he then messaged me, uh, the, uh, the council guy, and he was like, um, yeah, um, I've been chatting to the other one who's coming back tomorrow to fit the toilet, the new one. And he says, oh, that uh, it's totally fine. The measurements aren't a big deal. Um, it's not going to affect things at all. And I thought, good. And I says, I thought to myself, do you know what? And I said to the guy, I says, uh, you know, I sort of feel like as if they're sort of trying to make me out to be some kind of troublemaker, you know, that I'm sort of wanting that that high oh no i don't want that there i want that there instead you know now you've done it and um and he says well it's got to be right for you and um it's totally fine he says it was no issue to me and um you know it's got to be right and i said yeah and i says he says oh it's not a huge huge movement you know it's not hugely moved it's, but I said it's enough, you know, what is classed as maybe half an inch and isn't a lot to some persons. But for me, I said that uh, it's a huge thing for me. You know, it means I can just turn around that bit more comfortably. And he says, yeah, yeah, I agree. 
So yeah, tomorrow is the toilet of the arrival of the closet mat toilet. So I'll show you what that looks like when it comes. I'm really excited actually. Get rid of the manky one. Um, but yeah, today he spent sorting that out, um, moving the toilet, re you know, re moving things around. Um, he then had um, then put the tiles on and he's going to grout it tomorrow or no or friday but the the other toilet the toilet's coming in tomorrow so it's very exciting so i can't wait for that one so uh let's wait for tomorrow afternoon all systems go 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 right i'm just doing for me for toast two what for me in the kitchen to be putting pans on i had the dryer on the washer on because the cat Miss Minnie's decided to soil and wheel. So uh, I got my lovely care lady to peel me some potatoes. And I finally put them on. Um, so I'm going to do a cheese potato pie for tomorrow. I've just boiled the potatoes up. I'm going to drain them in a second. Add some butter, mash them. Um, put the grated cheese. Mix it in. I've got some like Vivieri bacon. I might put some of them in there with it. Ooh, exciting. And then I'm going to transfer it all into a little dish. And then I'm going to put the cheese on, on the top. Um, and that's it. And I'm going to leave it and cook it tomorrow. Um, I might have to leave it in the microwave to be, you know... For tonight or in my air fry i think um just so it's got somewhere for it to live till it cools down then i'll have to put it in the fridge then with it being warm i don't know why i said it like that but you know um so i'll do that things are slowly coming together but again i've heard nothing from the ot i'm just pissed off really that she hasn't got involved and messaged me in like three weeks and i just think what's going on so I'm going to leave it for now. I'm not going to message again. I thought, sod it, I'm not going to keep messaging you all the while. So why aren't you replying and stuff? Um, I just send a message. Sorry, you've got me <laughs> talking with the, you staring at a pan. Yeah, I don't send a message every day and all the rest of it. I send, I've sent one when the oven, when the, the, uh, the hob come, not when the hob come, the, the oven bit come. And I wanted to know, because I, when I was filling in the... I told her it had arrived and it was in. And no issue there, it looked great. don't know why I did that either as well. Close above the eye. Um, but I said, when I come to filling in the guarantee that uh, the hob part... And I thought, well, I might as well have it for the other as well. The date of purchase and the price um, is what is needed to fill in, but... I need that and I've had nothing back so I left it at that then the following week I messaged like um about a message about the electrician um coming and then I'd messaged her about Craig the boss coming over and he was going to be doing final bits but I said he was bloody useless because he brought stuff that was either too big, too small, too thin, too fat. You know, everything was all wrong. Instead of bringing a few sizes or going and fetching what's needed and coming back and do it, doing the job to finish, didn't do it. Um, and I said he's absolutely bloody useless. And I thought, well, well, he is. Six months nearly at the time, you know. What do you want me to do? Be all, oh, it's okay. It's only just, if it was, you know, a week into this, two weeks, a month, then yeah, it'd be a different story. But six months, I thought nobody, nobody would be, oh, this is fine. You know, it feels like when you've moved house and you want to unpack, but you can't. I mean, I've got a lot of my kitchen unpacked, but there's areas that I'm going to have to move. Because there's still bits that are going to need to be done. And when this side of the cooker 
this bit here when it does get lowered and i feel like i'm a broken record with this now but when this gets lowered and then this doorway gets sorted out there's going to be dust and grot blowing all over the bloody place so yet again things are going to have to be all moved out um to sort this out and i know that None of the tenants that live in these flats would be all, oh, that's all right, don't worry about it. It's only been five and a half months. You take your time. I feel like doing that for sarcasm. You know, don't worry about it. It's only, you know, X amount of months till Christmas. Hey, that'll be fun. Be trying to put the tree up and everything and I'll be uh, probably doing the uh, the living room doorway. Fucking hell. So, yeah. Um, so, it's just waiting now, again. So, we'll see what tomorrow brings, shall we? Um, and see what happens. But it's just like, oh, it's so frustrating. And I just don't know what else to do about it all. It's really starting to just... Oh, yesterday, I was a, such a wreck. I was so upset, I was so down, because I just wanted somebody to say, oh, wow, why haven't they done that? Let's um, get on to it, shall we? But no one else is seeming interested over what's going on. It's like they can do whatever they want. I mean, the... I've noticed, hang on. Up the corner there where the boiler pipe is, it's like there's a where it's been um, plastered, there's a crack up there that needs sorting out. Um, but again, you know, if I say anything, I should have waited. That's what she said. You should have waited for what's go for what you're not happy with until the end. And I said, to, like I said to the toilet guy today, I said, so, I said, would you rather I say something now or after you finished? And he says, well, definitely now. This is the time to speak up. And I said, well, according to the OT, I should, for my kitchen, have waited till the bitter end when it's all in and it's all done and it's all been tiled and it's all been finished. And then say, right, could you imagine with the tiles being so messed up? that um i'll go well it looks mm, look at the tiles and then they're gonna go oh of course we'll rip them all off we'll take it off now because we realize what a crap job that your tile has done um no of course it wouldn't so yeah I just think they just wanted me to be a nodding dog and just go, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And because I'm not putting up with the crap that they've given me, um, that suddenly I'm going to be this, like, they're like, oh, fucking hell, she's causing more grief, more grief, more grief. I don't care anymore. I just want them to get in, do the job properly and fuck off. <laughs> and without sounding so blunt, because I've had enough. I'm sick of, you know, as lovely as the chap was that come today. And, old, you know, he was quite an older chap. And, you know, and he was singing along to his music. And he was just making little jokes here, there and everywhere. And chit-chatting to me. And he was all right, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, he was fun. You know, we had a laugh. And um, he'd come up with little jokey things and that. And, um, you know, and then when it was five o'clock, his missus had messaged and said, oh, your tea's, your tea's ready. And he says, well, I'm still here. And um, then when he was going, he says, oh, he says, I might not be, I might not be with her anymore when I get home. He says, the locks might be changed. <laughs> your tea's burnt, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, it was okay. And I thought, bloody hell, this other company, Broad Oak, <laughs> they were, certainly would not have uh, had workers at half past five finishing off. You know, um, they would have been here for about an hour, done a little bit and buggered off. Um, and this is great. This is how it should be. This is, you know, getting on with it, getting the job done. So, yeah. Um and even they agreed that uh, that they just do shoddy work. They both said, 
that this company that uh, has been doing my kitchen are just absolutely useless. They're just rubbish at what they do. So, um, but yeah, I'm expected to take it because I'm disabled and I'm doing a grant scheme. So bloody what? You know, it's about getting the job done and to satisfactory standards, not putting a bag of shit up and expecting the person to just allow it to fall apart in front of their eyeballs. So, anyway, right, I'm going to love and leave. I want to get this food sorted out, so I've got it all ready, you know, going in for tomorrow. So if there is another late one tomorrow, then at least I've got something cooking in the air fryer when I want it. Ooh, can't wait for that. Right, catch you later. Bye.